Uh, Terra is a price stable cryptocurrency that is pegged to uh, several of the world's major fiat currencies, such as the USD, the Korean won, uh, the, v and the CNY, the GBP, and most notably the IMF SDR. So the goal is uh, to connect all of these uh, stable currencies with the e commerce and uh, retail payment network such that you can break down the barriers in international commerce. The project got to start by putting together 15 e-commerce companies across Asia that are growing rapidly and collectively processing about $25 billion in transactions uh, and with 45 million users. Terra's mainnet Columbus is built on uh, Tendermint's proof-of-stake consensus and the Cosmos SDK toolkit. Uh, we have 100 validators that stake our native cryptocurrency Luna uh, and these validators look to secure and to process transactions that happen on Terra payment networks. Even if you don't make the cut for the top 100 validators, you can delegate your stake to um, other validators in which you have the greatest trust or like you have the greatest philosophical alignment. The idea is that uh, validators by staking Luna into the system can learn, earn transaction fees that are coming from uh, Terra e-commerce payments. So uh, overall, as Terra's transaction volume grows, the value of Luna can grow uh, with the Terra ecosystem as well. Yeah, so in 2018, the, our engineering team started a uh, exploration of the various types of consensus mechanisms that was available to the market. And uh, we stumbled across Tendermint and the Cosmos SDK. Tendermint is a consensus engine that doesn't require mining. Um, and it allows uh, anyone to create a blockchain um, with a, a massively distributed set of signers. Um, so it's just a, another way to create blockchains without proof of work and uh, potentially much more secure and it's much faster. Um, and we're now using this technology to create an internet of blockchains uh, called Cosmos. One thing that we really liked about Tendermint was that it was um, the only production-ready proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, and then it, to, to some extent, in our opinion, a lot of the different uh, proof-of-stake uh, blockchains had sort of derived and got its start from uh, Tendermint. It was already starting to get a lot of social proof uh, with major projects like IBM Hyperledger Borrow and recently announced Binance Dex, uh, starting to pick upon uh, Tendermint and the Cosmos SDK for uh, building their own blockchains. So we launched uh, five ecosystem tools recently. Uh, so the first is what we call the Finder. This is the standard block explorer in most blockchain ecosystems. It allows you to query the balances of counts uh, to look at transactions and blocks. Uh, the second is a product called the Station. This is a staking dashboard for validators and delegators to ch check out the state of the ecosystem and then decide how they want to get involved in the network validation process. The third tool that we launched is a product called the Registrar. So this is a tool for uh, pre-sale investors to create wallets and then uh, stay updated for you know, requirements um, that, that allows them to redeem the tokens. The fourth tool that we launched on the research side are simulation model, models for, uh, decide, uh, for looking at how the Terra stability mechanism will react to changes in macroeconomic variables, so for example, like a drop in transaction fees, for instance. Um, and the last tool that we launched is something called the Oracle Feeder. So this basically reads in uh, the prices of various Terra coins uh, and then feeds it into the blockchain. So it also looks at Forex exchange rates from uh, credible sources like Ponzi and Reuters and stuff. We're very hard at work in developing IPC and uh, putting out on the Cosmos mainnet and, and uh, bringing it to the Cosmos ecosystem so, uh, so that finally Terra and the Cosmos hub can connect. Um, it's really exciting because uh, IPC is the solution to blockchain scalability and uh, interoperability. We're quite excited to plug into that ecosystem so, it, so that we can become interoperable with the rest of the Cosmos universe.